हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली कोर्ट्स यूट्यूब चैनल कौशल दिस साइड एंड आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर विजिट इन जे क्वेरी यू आई वी केम अक्रॉस सेवरल विजिट एंड दियर यूजेज इन द पास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज नाउ टूडे विल बी गोइंग थ्रू द ऑटो कम्प्लीट विजिट इन जे क्वेरी यू आई दिस विजिट वर्क अ लिटिल डिफरेंटली फ्रॉम द वंस वी केम अक्रॉस टिल नाउ विल सी द डिफरेंस इन टूडेज वीडियो so before we begin make sure that you have subscribed to our youtube channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos so without any further delay let's get started one of the most accessible and widely used widgets in jquery ui is the auto complete widget it helps the users complete the text they are writing in an input box or somewhere by giving suggestions So let's go through the jQuery UI website quickly and then we'll see the syntax and all for this particular widget. So here we are on the website. We'll look for the auto complete widget and here is the auto complete widget. Click on it. Now you can see we have a text box over here. So before we do something, let's go through the description given over here for this auto complete widget. It says the auto complete widgets provides suggestions while you type into the field here the suggestions are the tags from programming languages so if we write here let's say ja you can see we have two different options we have java and javascript right so this is what the auto complete widget is now let's use this widget in our program so here we are in the vs code what we'll do now is we'll create an input box first and then we'll use this particular widget so for creating an input box what we'll do is we'll write here let's say we are writing here favorite language fine now we have to create an input box for this so we'll write here input type is equals to text and let's provide the id as well so we'll write here id so let's say the id is input for this text box now let's add a button over here as well to make it look nicer a bit so what we'll do is we'll add a button over here we'll write here button so let's say we'll give the id as ptn1 we don't need this but let's do it here so let's say the button name is submit now save the program and you can see it on the browser we have an input box where we have to mention a favorite language and a submit button as well so let's move on to the jquery part now and we'll use the auto complete widget here we are in the javascript file now the syntax is the same so we have to use this widget with the id of a html element what we'll do is we'll write here dollar so the id for input box is input so we'll write here hash input then we'll write here dot auto complete fine that's it right the syntax for all the widgets we have been through is similar to this one but there is a slight difference in this particular widget what this widget does is it provides us with suggestions so we have to give those suggestions by ourselves to the system to let jquery ui go through them and then only it can provide us with certain recommendations the suggestions will be the name of some languages in this particular case so let's create an array over here of all the languages we want what we'll do is we'll write here before this document dot ready method or event we can say we'll create a variable over here so let's say the variable name is language then we'll create an array so let's say we have certain names of particular languages stored inside this array right so we'll write here html then we have css we have javascript as well so we'll mention all the languages we know we'll write here javascript then we have php and we have java so then we'll write here python and then we'll write here let's say c we have c++ as well so we'll mention that as well so we'll write here c++ then we have c sharp so we'll write here c sharp and we have perl so we'll write here perl we'll write here so we have to put this inside double inverted commas then we'll write here let's say ruby and we have scala so we'll write here scala 
then we have COBOL as well so these all are languages then we have basic so we'll write here basic and let's mention some more so let's say we are writing here Fortran so we'll write here Fortran and then we have Lisp and finally let's add here TypeScript fine so we'll write here TypeScript I guess these are enough for now so the next task we have to do is to let the autocomplete widget know about this particular array for that we have to pass this array as a parameter to this autocomplete widget over here fine now the thing to keep in mind here is that we have to pass two parameters in this widget one is for the source of the array we can say and the other one is for the customizations so we have to pass them inside curly braces this means that we have to use two pairs of curly braces right so we'll use two curly braces over here we'll separate them with a comma so the first one is for the source and the second one is for the customizations fine now the next thing we have to do is to pass the source to this autocomplete widget the source is the array right for that what we have to do is we have to write here inside this first curly braces we have to write here source and we have to give the name of a array over here so we'll write here language and that's it fine we are done with the autocomplete widget so let's check the output now save the program and move on to the browser here we have an input box now try to write something over here what we'll do is we'll write here let's say C you can see we have the names of all the languages which have the letter C present in their names this is the basic working of this autocomplete widget it suggests all the related names to the user and lets them choose from any of them so if we click on C++ you can see we have the input as C++ over here and if we write here Java we have two options we have JavaScript and Java we can click on any of them and that will be present as the text inside the input box now we can also use the array inside the autocomplete widget as well we don't have to create any variables or anything just copy the array from here and what we have to do is we have to paste it here inside the autocomplete widget fine we'll comment this piece of code we'll comment it out save it now and you can see on writing here C we have all the options with C present in their names fine so this is working totally fine I guess now talking about the customizations we have in this widget we'll be going through three different types of customizations what we'll do is we'll write here first so we have this pair of curly braces over here for the customizations. so we'll write inside it let's say delay and let's pass the value as 500 over here fine delay as 500 means the suggestions will be shown to the user after 500 milliseconds if we write here 2000 instead of 500 and save the program now try to write something over here and it will take two seconds to complete for example let's say we are writing here Java now wait for two seconds and then the options will appear on the screen fine so this is a property of the autocomplete widget now the second property is the min length property this property defines the minimum length required for the suggestions so for example if we write here min length and if we pass the value as let's say 3 save it now if we write here C fine we have the min length as 3 and C is of single letter will not get any suggestions because the minimum length is 3 instead of C if we write here J A we are still not getting any suggestions because the minimum length is 3 right here V and you can see after 2 seconds we have two suggestions over here as Java and JavaScript let's change the delay to 500 over here again and now what we'll do is we'll try to search for another language let's say we are searching for Python now we have four letters over here and you can see we have the suggestion as Python so this is how the min length property of this autocomplete widget works now the last property is the autofocus property let's go through the example directly we'll write here after a comma auto 
focus fine we'll pass this as true because this is a boolean property save it now now go to the browser and write here something let's say we are writing here COBOL and you can see we have the first option in focus because of this particular property now try to write here Java and you can see we have two options the first one is in focus and if we pass this property as false save this program write here Java again and you can see none of the two options are in focus now so these are some of the customizations we have in the autocomplete widget now the task for you guys is to dig a bit deeper into this topic from the official jquery website and let us know if we missed out on anything so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll go through widget modification in jquery if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.